What up, folks? It's your boy Trails, and we're back with another one. And we got Vim Miller, the guy who is allegedly accused of the third assassination attempt on Donald Trump in the news. Uh, this article coming out of New York Post, uh, first we're gonna watch this quick video with the sheriff and then we'll react to it. But the article reads, Finn Miller threatens a massive lawsuit against sheriff who suggested he was out to assassinate Trump. Well, let's go ahead and see what the sheriff has to say about this situation. So that outside perimeter are the, uh, I will give you his name, the, the name that we have, and I'm going to put an asterisk by it as I explain this later, but we have his name as Vem, V-E-M, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. He was released. Uh, he will, he will have to further his court case, uh, is in the, in the future. Uh, right now we are actively uh, engaged in working with Secret Service and the FBI to ensure that this person is followed up on and all of the information that they can gather. I can tell you that from, from my perspective, from, from a state law enforcement agency's perspective, the, the firearms charges is what we arrested him for and booked him on. Uh, anything further will come from the federal government and quite frankly, I don't know if we will be a part of that. There you have it, folks. Um, now we'll get to the article reading this uh, situation. The self-styled Marcus supporter arrested for showing up to a Donald Trump's California rally with a slew of guns said he is planning a massive lawsuit against the local sheriff who publicly suggested he was out to assassinate the former president. Vim Miller, 49, told the Los Angeles Times that Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco committed career suicide by speculating that his arrest had probably stopped another assassination attempt. As a right of this second, I could prove everything they said is untrue. It's just going to be bad. That sheriff is going to lose his job. Miller told the outlet, adding that his lawyers are preparing the massive lawsuit. Everything they said about me is untrue. Provably so, Miller added. Unfortunately, he appears to have committed career suicide. This is a photo of the weirdo here. Definitely a weirdo. Miller said that he, he had the weapons in his truck for personal protection and that he is a 100% a Trump supporter who was innocently at this Saturday's Coachella Valley, uh, Valley rally to cover it as a journalist. In observance of my First Amendment rights, I carry firearms in my truck. He told the L.A. Times, it's just then there was nothing outward about the guns, which neither the Secret Service nor the FBI said is being investigated as planned assassination attempt. Still, the sheriff said he doesn't regret anything about his handle of it and dismissed the threat of a lawsuit. He could say... Anything he wants to try to minimize his involvement in this or threaten to sue, Bianco told Fox 11 while saying that everyone threatens to sue. I'm not sure what he's going to sue about. He showed up to a Trump rally in the secondary checkpoint in an unregistered vehicle with the fake license plates, multiple IDs, and guns. Wait, so he showed up like he was hit, man? We arrested him for those. He could sue whatever he wants. Miller was napped outside the rally after authorities say he tried to enter with the press pass, prompting the search of his unregistered black SUV. So he showed up with an unregistered SUV, press passes, firearms, multiple IDs. Yeah, this seems like he, yeah, he did prevent one. At a press conference announcing his arrest, the sheriff said Miller had a cache of fake passports and driver's licenses, along with the shotgun, a loaded handgun, a high-capacity magazine stashed in his vehicle. The sheriff went on to say that he truly believed his department halted assassination attempt, though he acknowledged it was speculation. The sheriff went on to say that he... Oh, I read that. 
what his frame of mind was? All we could do is speculate, Bianco said at the time. If you're asking me right now, I probably did the deputies that have prevented the third. I probably did have deputies that prevented the third assassination attempt. Well, this photo with Trump on Highland Class is crazy. <laughs> Miller, who was booked on suspicion of possessing loaded firearms, who later released on a $5,000 bond, was slammed, has slammed the sheriff's office. Allegations is bullshit. But in a series of media interviews, he's also repeatedly assisted that he brought the weapons for his personal protection because of death threats he's received since launching his American Happers Network, a series of podcasts, docuseries, and shows to combat censorship. Also, he's using this. He knew they would do this. He's using this to boost his love, uh, his shit. Wow, this guy. This starts a litigation emerged after Miller of film and TV industry professional who has long railed against the U.S. government and mainstream media told Fox News he was a star Trump supporter who was never shot a gun in his life. Yes, I'm 100% a Trump supporter, he told the outlet. This is a man I deeply admire. The post has reached out to the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. So, yeah, um, <laughs> definitely a weirdo. He did all this to boost his little clout for his little stuff. This is an attempt to make it look like, you know, oh, they did something wrong, and he's somehow been held against, censored, and now he's the, the new arm of the right wing. He's he's pretty much, um, he's interviewing to the right, pretty much, as you can say. Now let's go ahead and see what some of the comments got to say. Let's see. All right, let's get some comments in. This guy Miller is a weird one indeed. I said that. This guy goes to a Trump rally with the four weapons, except the bazooka and the body vest, bombs with the string and a red button to push. He really thinks he's going to win a lawsuit. He should be thinking how to bring less charges to his case with the government. Miller knew the Trump family... They would explain he has permission to enter with all these fake documents. He was invited to bring firearms. Second thing, Democrats never thought MAGA or U.S. citizen members. That a Republican crazy folks thing, a right-wing thing. Wow, that was like, this guy, you could tell Nelson is pretty old. No one or any judge will believe him in court. Democrats are threatening Miller. And the far right-wing groups love his website with all the fake news. Miller's going to need a miracle to get out of this jam. Since he knows the Trump family so well, I'm sure Trump will drop the charges so Miller has nothing to worry about. He lucky the system gave him bail. Finally, a good lawyer. My advice. Find a good lawyer. Probably one of Lizzie's henchmen's. So this guy has the trappings of a professional hitman in the vicinity of Trump and is surprised at the blowback. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bruh. Plain and simple. Cole. Circumstantial evidence says otherwise. Good luck with your suit. I bet you at least he knows how to load them. No. He said he never shot a gun a day in his life, so... I don't know how... Oh, we're not reading that. Wow. An arsenal like that, and he has never shot a gun in this life. Who's going to believe that? Right. Biakos just another scumbag like his daddy Trump. <laughs> another genius. I hope this time they put him away for a few years. If Maga says this sheriff is a liar, then I believe Maga. Maga is a trustworthy group of people. Why should we trust the sheriff over MAGA? Yeah, I mean, you know. How come he ain't charged for the multiple fake, uh, IDs? I don't get that. Shouldn't there also be a charge in there? He carried more than one weapon. If it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it is a duck. I am guns, but I never threw all of them in the car and tried to get in the presidential rally. Dude, if I was you, I would shut up and move on. 
You have fake IDs, fake license plates. No one in their right mind does stuff like this. Exactly. The right is eating itself. He was driving a vehicle with fake license pla uh, plate. Weapons loaded in the car, fake ID, passports. Yeah, the arrest was justified. Too bad the charges were all in misdemeanors. Right. Like, let me do this. Let me even drive, not even a truck rally. Let me do this and drive to, like, McDonald's or Walmart. Bruh. It would be multiple charges. It'd be bail. It would just be like, okay, a guy, here you go. Bruh. This is crazy. He is a danger to our country. He has all kinds of excuses, but the right one. Don't like Trump, but everyone knows you can't take a gun into a rally and then try to get in with fake VIP pass. Not too smart, but most MAGA rats are not. I just think he's just that much of an idiot. He didn't think about the blowback. He didn't think about the ramifications. Idiot stuff. He's just that much of a dumbass. If he wants a lawsuit, Discovery will convict him. Yeah, I hope they give him, throw the book at him. And of, in observance of my first memo rights, I carry firearms in my truck. Even so, the L.A.'s eye. Right, does somebody want to tell him? Right, crazy people. Yeah. In, um, yeah, we got a lot of them, so we'll just, uh, we'll just quit for here. We'll do this last one here from Ernest. <laughs> The me, I think he wanted to put Mir. The mere fact that he is a Trump supporter tells me everything about him. He's nuts. Must be completely out of his mind. Anyone who would support and vote for Trump can't be dealing with the full that. Now, I know a couple decent Trump supporters, but I mean, definitely isn't this guy. What do you think about this article? Is uh, Vem Miller right? Was there the third assassination attempt? Did it get fumbled? How come this man's free now, if he really did? Um, how come it's only gun charges? Where's the charges against the fake stuff, uh, the fake ID, um, the fake, uh, vehicle registration, etc.? Um, I got a lot of questions, but only time will tell. And when it comes here, we'll be here to tell it well. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll be back later with some more. Holla back. Make sure you hit that like a sub for more. Deuces.